This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm at Rose Hill today with me. I've got two time British champion and European title champion Lenny Dawes. What's happening, Lenny? All right, James. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Also joined by our trainer Ian Burbage. What's happening, Ian? Oh, good, mate. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Good. Coming here today, I see you've got loads of cars here, loads of people taking pictures. I thought Rad Radamel Falcao was here. What's going on? Got the board getting involved. Yeah, no, tell me a little bit. Can you explain to me what's going on? Um, got a new sponsor on board. You know, I'll take me out to them for you know taking me on their team. Uh, yeah, it's really helped me out. This uh, hydration drink by uh, coconut water. Um, it's you know coconut water is a big thing at the moment, and uh, to be part of this Coco Five, you know, is is, is unbelievable. And you know, I think it's going to lift me and take me to the next level. As I said, it's fantastic that Coco Five have got involved with Lenny Doors and putting their weight behind him and pushing him a little bit. Can can you tell me a little bit about the product first and foremost? What, what is Coco Five? Like? Oh, it's coconut water. It's coconut water. There's six different flavours. Um, and yes, yeah, you know, five electrolytes, which is top notch. You can't get much better than that. And uh, yes, yeah, hydration, performance drink, you know, to push you through the sessions, hydrate you after and before. It's what, what, what we need, you know, in this game. Mm -hmm. From a boxing point of view, it must be fantastic to have attached a sponsor behind Lenny Doors. And act so he can really spend most of his time now predominantly in camp when he, and when he's ready to go, you know? Oh, that's right. I mean, this has always been the biggest thing. We sort of chase sponsors and we've had various promises. And uh, Coco Five have come on and really looked after us, to be truthful. They've given us plenty of support. You ring up, there's plenty of drinks we've got. And again, it is good stuff. I mean, Coco, coconut water was sort of like very much an acquired taste. It was a bit like Marmite. You either liked it or you hated it. Personally, I was one of them that hated it. But, you know, Coco Five have come on and put some flavour to it, all natural sort of flavouring as well. And. Uh, you can drink it, it tastes nice to be true. Oh, I know it sounds a bit corny that they're sponsoring us, and I've got to say it tastes nice, but it does. So it's all right to be true. Oh, oh, so it's yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> I'm caning it, if I'm honest. <laughs> I see him, he's only about four since I've been I know. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. But the other stuff I couldn't stomach at all, but this, you know, it's bang on. Goes down good, yeah. yeah. So not only is he getting sponsored, we're getting some drink out of it, no? Okay, it's great stuff. It's great at Coco Five to get involved. As yeah. said, you know, boxing is the toughest sport in the world, to be honest. And the guys need as much help as they can, so as I said, well done no, to Coco Five. No, that's Five. right, yeah, it's keeping me in the gym now, you know what I mean, where you had to come out at times, uh, money was getting tight, you had to go back to work a bit, but now yeah, I, can, I can keep in the gym and be in best possible shape as possible now and push on and really get, get a big title. So. Talking about best possible shape, I know you've got a, a big fight coming up on October 4th at Blue Water on the Hennessy, on the Hennessy Maxi Nutrition final card, uh, televised by Channel 5. So again, it's a, it's a big fight for you to see you title, isn't it? That's right, you know, I've, I've held it before, um, but if I can get a hold of it again, which I'm sure I can, it's going to put me in pole position for the EBU, you know, w which is what I want. You know, I was chasing DeRocco, DeRocco's not interested in a rematch. So yeah, we, we've had to drop down a bit, we'll take this one and then we can push on for bigger and better things, hopefully after this one. So mm -hmm. we're in tremendous shape. Four weeks ago, I can't wait. What can you tell me about your opponent, your French opponent? I'll let you pronounce his name. Jakib Fadli, I believe, is that right? That's right, mate. Yeah. You've done it. You've cracked it. You've cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 16 fights, 13 wins, 3 losses, uh, 7 KOs. Um, it's slightly taller than me, which is unusual. We don't normally come against taller fellas. Um, but yeah, as you say, we're covering the areas, we're sparring, we're working on techniques and stuff of what he's doing. and. Yeah, as best as we can, really. But yeah, I'm up for it, prepared for whatever's in front of me, really. And we're sussing out round by round as the fight goes on. And yeah, we're taking them apart. Big support coming from Malden, Rose Hill, Mitchum. You're going to be getting on the coach, people getting on the coaches and that again this time. Is your brother sorting anything out? Or yeah, no, I'm going to have loads of coaches going this time. Big title fight. Everyone gets behind me, you know what I mean? So yeah, we should have a good three, 400 people down there. And yeah, Wicked. it'd be lovely. Wicked. Wicked. Do you know what I say? Like, I spoke to Mick Hennessy about this before. You was his first ever signing. So and you've been with him your whole career. He, as I said, he's got your two British titles. You've had a, an EBU title shot as well as holding this EU this EU belt before. So he, he does care and he's pushing you, isn't he? That's right. Yeah, he's getting me the opportunities, as you say. And it, I've, you know, I've got a grasp with both hands and just take him now and push on. And I know there's there's something big round the corner. I've just got to keep winning, which which I am. You know, the losses on my records, you, you can say I've hardly, you know, they've been very close. Only been points. Some of them you could say I've nicked them. So really, I feel I'm an unbeaten fight at the moment, but uh, there's yeah, still big things to come. I'm still improving with Ian. We're learning all the time, uh, working on things, um, and just get, getting a better and cure fire as, as you know as, as I get older. So mm -hmm. you know, I'm still super fit. It ain't the end of me yet, and you're going to see the best on the 4th of October. 
Speaking of uh, one of the people you suffered losses to, Ashley Fearfane, he's in the States part of the money team now. So Yeah, no, he's done well for himself, funny, definitely, yeah. yeah. You say British champion and unfortunately he never captured it. Um, yeah, disappeared out there and he's he's doing well for himself. Good luck to him, you know, yeah. Mm. Massive fight coming up as well, Mayweather made Darn too. How do you see that one playing out then? Um, very similar to the first one, you know, Madonna's going to stick it on him, isn't he? So, uh, you just never know. We can catch Mayweather, but Mayweather's too, you know, he's very fast, clever, um, looking for counters. Yeah, it's just whether he can nail him and catch him and hurt him, but he, he can't let him off the hook, because, you know, give Mayweather a chance, he recover, and he get back into the fight. So, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, really, you know, it's going to be exciting. So, yeah, it's a good one to watch. Indeed, indeed. All right, well, you've got four weeks now until your fight coming up. Must be pretty much in intensive camp now. Yep. Would that be right yep. Saying yep. That? We are. Yeah. We should say we've got another three tough weeks in front of us. The last week's just, you know, easing down, uh, cooling off, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's just getting the rounds in now in the spars. We've, we've done plenty of sparring, but uh, yeah, it's just ramping up into the next level, and uh, we'll be ready, mate. By all means, yeah. I know people call you the engine as well as the lightning. Has that got anything to do with all this cocoa water you've been drinking? Go even faster now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the engine can only get better, can't it? You know, yeah. so I've never had anything like this before. You know, I've always just drunk water, to be honest. You know what I mean? I've never took any performance supplements or anything. You know what I mean? And now it can only help I and mean, improve me and make me recover better and everything. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're definitely going to see a, a, a better Lenny Doors. As I said, it's, it's really good. It's really good that... Coco Five have got behind you guys, you know. It's, oh, it's mate, a great thing. it's brilliant. It's, it's, you know, as I say, we've we've tried responses loads of times. You know, even Mick Hennessy's, you know, as much as he supports, he's been trying and looking for us. You know, and uh, you know, to finally get one that's sort of come on board has been great. And you know, it's it's a it's an all round package. You know, that looks after us really, really well. So he's got nothing else to focus on apart from training, which he's doing. And you know, we're being great. So we've had some great sparring. Like Bradley Skeet's been brilliant for us. You know, he's always a great help. And uh, no, it's been really good, really, really good. All right, well, listen, congratulations on the new sponsorship deal. Thanks, like I said, it's fantastic to see you moving forward. Um, we look forward to seeing you October the 4th, if not in the build up. And yeah, best of luck with what you're doing. No, nice one. James. Cheers, James. Cheers, good James. to see you, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, you see the cards, just <laughs> <laughs>